For millennia, dozens of civilizations and hundreds of millions of souls have been nourished by the waters of the Middle East, the Tigris and Euphrates rivers in the east, the Nile in the west, and the Sea of Galilee and the Jordan River flowing through its heart. Crops were grown, and fish were caught, people drank, bathed, and washed clothes, and the waters figured prominently in various religious texts. They were taken for granted, because they were always there and it was assumed they would always be there. But this is no longer the case. A combination of climate change and unilateral initiatives by three of the region's governments has dramatically lessened the supply of water. If these challenges are not addressed, the results will be devastating to the livelihood and survival of hundreds of millions of people and other living beings, and the resultant tensions have the potential to fuel even greater conflicts than we see at present. It should be noted that the three unilateral actors are the non-Arab states of Turkey, Israel, and Ethiopia, while the affected populations also include the Arab peoples of Iraq, Syria, Jordan, Palestine, Egypt, and Sudan. With rising temperatures and reduced rainfall, several Arab countries have already experienced a severe drought, the worst in 900 years. These climate changes have resulted in increased evaporation, lower water levels, and spreading desertification. The consequences can be seen not only in the drying up of once irrigated farmlands, and the dislocation and impoverishment of small farmers, but also in the increased intensity of dust storms, with effects felt as far away as the Arabian Peninsula. There is also ample evidence that drought was one of the catalysts of the civil war in Syria. Several years of dangerously low levels of rain coupled with government mismanagement and lack of foresight resulted in hundreds of thousands of Syrian farmers being forced to leave their lands and flee to cities. The pressure that they and the influx of over a million Iraqi refugees created placed stress on resources, preparing the ground for civil strife and extremism, ultimately erupting into mass protests. The regime's brutal response to this unrest only fueled the population's anger at their dislocation and poverty. Syria's water problems were exacerbated by the Turkish dams on the Euphrates River, which reduced the flow of water into Syria by 40%. Iraq, which has also experienced rising temperatures, lower levels of rainfall, and spreading desertification, has been even more dramatically impacted by the Turkish dams on both the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. It is estimated that Euphrates dams have resulted in an 80% decline in Iraq's water supply. Much of Iraq's date crops, once famous across the world, its citrus orchards, and rice fields have dried up. Iraq is losing an average of 100 square miles of arable land each year.